So as a filmmaker, I would say to you, use the audience's imagination. You don't necessarily have to show everything. How can indie filmmakers compete with Hollywood? The way that indie filmmakers can compete with Hollywood is on the level of ideas. Because there are ideas that Hollywood is gutless to explore. You will never be able to compete with Hollywood necessarily on a budget standpoint, marketing money. Having said that, there are so many more things at your disposal as an indie filmmaker that you didn't realize. Whether it comes to talent, and asking someone who would bring money to a project, who knows who that actor might be, who is like, you know, you know, maybe sitting around works three months of the year and the rest of the time is playing Dungeons and Dragons. Not a joke. There's a whole group of Hollywood actors that play Dungeons and Dragons. Might not be a bad thing to learn. But there are more things at your disposal than, than you would realize. So I would say focus on casting. Um, focus on making the film because there's really no excuse for an indie filmmaker because equipment is so inexpensive. I mean, you know, I almost look good with the cameras being used right now. But, and these cameras are not particularly expensive to rent and or purchase. So on that level, make sure that you have that covered. But the way indie film competes with Hollywood is with ideas. And then what happens is those ideas will be ripped off by Hollywood because that's how that cycle works. Now that's fine if they hire the person to do that. I mean, Sam Raimi, arguably, if you look at the Evil Dead series, the original Evil Dead film, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, and the Evil Dead 3, that, that um, he's basically remaking the same movie over and over again with a big budget. I don't have a problem with that because it's Sam Raimi doing it. Let him do it, that's great. And, and those movies hold up, they're really fun, the Evil Dead films with Bruce Campbell, which have amazing commentary tracks, if you can track them down. Very useful films from, from Sam Raimi's early career. But where I think indie film competes is ideas. So here's what you do. Don't do what Hollywood is doing because you can't do that on a budget scale. What you can do is explore ideas that Hollywood would not have the guts to do, that Hollywood is constrained by checklists that they must always have in a big Hollywood movie. Indie filmmakers are not burdened by that checklist. And you have to be fearless when it comes to how you may be perceived on social media, right? Fearless. Stop caring what other people think. Move full force with your creative vision. And that's not something that if you look, work for a major studio and you make a movie with budget and concerns, that I think comes with burden. I mean, I've, you've heard the stories time and again of, of the, the burdens that come with or the, the creative shackles that come with making a movie for a major studio. You have complete creative freedom and you need to exercise it. If you're not exercising it, why are you making it indie? Just, just pitch it to Hollywood and let them give you the money and, and move on. But if you're gonna make a small indie movie, you, you better be willing to explore some ideas because it's underestimated and underused the audience's imagination. I'll give you an example, a throwaway line from Star Wars. I know Star Wars comes up. Okay, um, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin walks in the room, Darth Vader walks in the room, they, they, and they, they're having a council meeting, right, on the Death Star, and he talks about the Emperor has wiped away the Imperial Senate. There'll not be a concern for us. I'm not quoting it correct directly, but that's the basic line. Well, one, I'm an audience member. One, who are all these evil men in this room, right? This is already scary. Secondly, wait, there's an emperor of the galaxy and there's an imperial senate. Who is this emperor of the galaxy? There was an imperial senate. Why were they wiped away? And the, the thing is, is that Hollywood has become so used to the fact that they can just do anything 
uh, why don't we just show that, right? So we can show this. Well, ultimately, when we finally saw the Imperial Senate in the prequels, it was a little maybe underwhelming. Like, oh, okay, that's what it looks like. It looks like a Lamps Plus, uh, or, you know, that's weird configuration of, it looks like a giant chandelier upside down. Okay, weird. Um, in any case, but what I'm saying is, is that my imagination as a kid was utilized because characters in the movie talked about off-screen events happening. And I think that that is a device that is underused. So as a filmmaker, I would say to you, use the audience's imagination. You don't necessarily have to show everything. There are different ways for information to get be gotten across and not just through some news report, right? That's the, that's the lazy go-to is a news report on the news. You know, they call it, the device they call it Captain Narrative, where it's like somebody that just sort of explains the narrative to kind of catch the audience up with what events are happening. So my suggestion is try to use parts of the audience's brain that they're not used to using, which is their imagination. I think that not only will you'll engage the audience more, get them to, you know, whether they physically do it or metaphorically kind of, or, or they just sort of lean into the story. They're just sort of leaning in and, and, and gets them to think about what the events they're seeing. Like, oh, like this, and also I think it shows respect for the audience, right? It doesn't mean you're not gonna have your money shots in the film, whether it be something big budget or whatnot, but you know you can expand your world by allowing the audience to use their imagination and convey information in a shorthand, whether it be dialogue, something that's seen very quickly. Um, I, 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 I see that less often in major studio movies, and I'd like to see it used more often in independent films. You know, explore an idea that's never been discussed or explored, or explored in a way that is new and fresh. That's what I think is the power for an independent filmmaker. You, you need to really make sure that those ideas are so compelling that if you just tell someone the idea, they'll lose their minds. It almost sounds like you're referring again to the topic of puzzles. Right, yeah. Because, you know, maybe showing a crime that, you, it, it, we don't see the crime that was committed, but we hear about it from different people's points of view. That's, that could be one aspect of making the audience guess. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it gives the audience something to do because, I mean, look, what's the number one thing you want to do in a movie you want, how, how do you want the audience to feel? You want the audience to feel that they care about what's gonna happen next and what's gonna happen next, right? And you're leading them along and you're giving them crumbs, but not all of it, right? And give them some work to do. And I feel like the, the reason that the original Star Wars films hold up, the original trilogy, is because it gave the audience something to do. There's so much of what's seen in the original Star Wars trilogy that's never explained, you know? That, that are such clever throwaway ideas that are in the background that just spur the imagination. And that's hardly done these days. I mean, if anything, audiences are spoon fed and over explained. Things are over explained to them because studios think that audiences are stupid and that's not the case. Audiences are much more savvy these days. They're way far ahead, which is why so much content is like, meh, it was okay. I can't tell you how many times I've walked out of a big Hollywood movie and forgotten it by the time I walked to my car. Like a big action movie where you're like, well, none of that really mattered. What were the stakes? I didn't, it seems like I've seen it before. I feel like indie film has the freedom to go a few layers deeper and explore new ideas and engage the audience with it. So please more of that.